part of a group of people that put together a, got a bus out from New York City with about 25, 30 people on board, about 22 veterans, I think, and about five civilians. And it was just, it was a very difficult ordeal just trying to get the bus to leave New York City. And that was the easiest part. Once it got out there, that's when everything started falling apart. Yeah, but I didn't even get on the bus. I took a Greyhound in Cleveland, and Josh from Syracuse picked me up and dropped me off to Eagle Bluff, the Eagle Butte. And from Eagle Butte, I slept a couple hours and then got on a, got on, got on a, on a truck with a guy, a Green Beret guy, that almost took us off the road, doing 70 miles an hour, trying to get to uh, Cannonball. So I got to Cannonball couple hours, squared, out, squared away the kitchen, because the kitchen was a mess, and a, a, an army cook for 35 years took, cooked everybody lunch, and I had a flight to catch. And I got Trent's father, Trent and Trent's father drove me to Bismarck to get on a plane to come back, because I had to be back by the week, by Monday. So it was like 60 hours of a dream, and I thought I was gonna die a few times, and, but just what I learned was that when people say they have PTSD, you should believe them. Because there's real dysfunction with a lot of these veterans. That the guy, the, the Josh who drove, he drove 30 hours straight with two breaks of like an hour. 30 hours. He was in Iraq, Afghanistan. He was like, it was like a suicide mission. I just went to sleep in the back. Because I thought we were going to go off the road eventually. And the guy who took the two breaks, took over from him for the two break, John Westerfield, was just here just the other day, and he said he was hallucinating for the two hours he drove. So I don't know how we got there. So it was just amazing. And I just want to say, as veterans, we're used to being told what to do, when to do it, and we have to change that dichotomy. You know, like I got out of the military and I went to work as organizing stuff. You know, we can't allow people to tell us when to do something and what to do. We have to start being the organizers. You know, we have that top-down mentality. We gotta wait for orders, all this other stuff. You know, I've been out of the military 28 years. I served in the Cold War, you know? So I just, I just saw a lot of people just waiting around for people to tell them what to do and not willing to do stuff for themselves. And that is not the answer. We got this guy Trump in, in charge now, all bets are off now, you know? I went, I went out there to see what was going on because the enemy right now is the government. It's always been the government, but hopefully people start waking up. You know, we need to take care of business now. It's no more joking around.